In addition to those nurses, I also listen to um, their voices protected. However, there's a lot of healthcare workers' voices aren't protected, and I listen to the concerns also of the housekeepers, the nursing assistants, um, even some of the doctors and uh, clerical staff. And I can tell you the main message is that we're not ready. Um, the equipment that we that is still used and has changed since last week is still b below the CDC standards and guidelines. Um, I was actually working that day of um, where there was a, a bit of a scare about uh, possible Ebola patients in the city. Um, and that's when emergency room nurses kind of realized, like, we're not prepared for this. We weren't prepared then, and we're still not prepared. We have no idea how this patient will present. This patient could present walking in, talking with a fever. This patient can present an active disease state with projectile vomit. This patient could be a pregnant woman, you know, about to deliver her baby, or it could be multiple patients. We're not prepared for, to handle any situation. Being prepared actually means being ready to take care of any kind of patient, however they present. Um, and, you know, I actually worked the day of the marathon bombing, 16 hours in the emergency room, and I can tell you we were prepared then. We had trainings and drills before then, and none of the nurses were scared. Um, but I can tell you the, the reason why nurses are scared or other healthcare providers, it's because of a lack of preparedness. It has nothing to do with actually physically this Ebola patient. It has to do with how prepared we are. Um, and so these risks are also compounded by the environment of which we work in too. So an example at my hospital is that there are no toilets. So any kind of waste will be piling up in these rooms. So it's not just the patient that the nurse is exposed to, it's all these hazardous materials that will be piling up in, in these rooms. And so it's actually the nurse that, who will be given the 90% of the care needs the ultimate protection and needs to be ready to deal with these patients. Because there'll be no hospital that's actually ready unless the, the emergency room and other nurses are ready 